Ashley where I help you perfect your skincare needs if you're new to this channel welcome it's nice to have you today I'm going to be talking all about sunscreens so first off I'm going to just tell you a little bit about the different sorts of sunscreens and then I'll let you know my recommendations and I've got something that should be okay for every skin type so if that sounds interesting to you stick around if you like the video I'd really appreciate a thumbs up but let's just get straight into it so first off I'm going to just tell you a little bit about the different sorts of sunscreens you can use so there's the mineral sunscreen which is also known as physical sunscreen now a lot of darker complexions don't like using this sunscreen because it does tend to leave a white cast and then you've got your chemical sunscreens which um, have actually been found to um, leak into the bloodstream so it gets absorbed and then it's in your bloodstream that isn't necessarily a major concern that's not actually you know being found that it's actually um, at dangerous levels so you don't need to be really worried about that i think um the majority of chemical sunscreens are safe for everybody to use but i just did want to say and then you've got your hybrid sunscreens which is a combination of the two so they use both physical properties and chemical properties as well in this video i'm not actually going to be talking about mineral sunscreens i do have two hybrid sunscreens to talk about um, and then the rest are all chemical sunscreens but i am going to leave a link down below to any youtube videos that i've watched that i think may be of benefit to you guys if you're looking to get a sunscreen particularly um those people who have got a much darker complexion than mine because i think it's only right that you know you guys can actually watch and get a bit of information to protect your skin as well before i get into the sunscreens i've got here i just want to let you know the criteria that all these sunscreens have actually met because i've tried quite a lot and there are a few that i've decided not to put in this video so first of all i wanted to make sure that all the sunscreens were broad spectrum so by that um, i mean that they cover both uva and uvb protection so if you look at the sunscreen packaging and it just says spf what they're actually referring to is uvb rays now these are the rays that land on your skin and they cause burning but there's actually uva rays as well which actually penetrate deeper into your skin and over the long term they're actually going to cause damage to your skin so you know premature aging the second criteria is that they don't sting my eyes now before i started this channel i didn't really think i had sensitive eyes didn't really think i had sensitive skin now i'm starting to think maybe i actually do have a little bit of sensitivity issues or maybe it will just be a problem for the majority of people i don't know but all of these products i'm going to talk about haven't stung my eyes at all and obviously when you're using sun protection you do want to put around your eye area as well and the third criteria is how it feels on the skin and just making sure it's not too greasy now me myself have got combination to oily skin especially in summertime my skin does tend to be quite oily so i don't want to look, just look at things that are going to be suited to just my skin type but um I, I have thought about people who've got a lot drier skin than myself and i still think you don't want to you know be walking around like a grease ball now before i go any further i just want to let you know that the majority of these products i'm going to talk about do actually have denatured alcohol in now a lot of sunscreens have denatured alcohol anyway now let's just get into the sunscreens now i've got six to talk about now i know that's not that many but i've got two for dry skin i've got two that um, are going to be suitable for people with normal skin and possibly you know if you've got a little bit of dry skin or a little bit of oily skin it may also be suitable for you and then i've got uh, two mattifying sunscreens that are going to be suitable for people with oily skin and then at the end i will just let you know my final thoughts which one i think i prefer for myself so first off i'm going to start off with the sunscreens that are going to be best for people with dry skin and i'm actually going to move from the most greasy formula to the most mattifying formula so you guys can get a little bit of an idea based on your skin type which one you think you may want to go for so the first product i'm going to talk about is this garnier ambra solaire sensitive advanced it does say for fair sensitive and sun intolerant skin i'm not sure why it says fair i think maybe because it's spf 50 um 
it's also water resistant and it's got no fragrance at all now i am going to show you what it looks like before i do i just want to let you know that this does leave a little bit of a white cast but I, on my complexion i find that if i rub it in quite a lot um it does it does completely go really so i actually don't mind the white on my skin what bothers me more is the fact that it's a little bit greasy for me but i think if you've got dry skin it doesn't seem overly greasy it doesn't you know i can't really judge that much because i'm putting it on my own skin but i think this this does seem nice anyway it's fragrance free it's water resistant spf 50 broad spectrum but let's just see what it looks like on the skin i've put a little bit there and as you can see it might still look a little bit i don't know if you if it looks white on camera or not it says a teeny bit but it's basically gone now so um i definitely think if your skin is darker than mine you probably won't want to use it you may not even want to use it if your skin is my complexion i you know i don't know i personally wouldn't mind using this to be honest the white cast seems a lot better than just the look on my skin so i definitely don't think anyone with oily skin would want to pick this specific product now the next product i'm going to talk about is this one from boots now i know if you're living in america or if you're living somewhere where there isn't a boots that's not really that helpful but i think when i'm going to talk about the ones in between which i say are for normal skin i think that's going to be a suitable option for the majority of people as well you just you know tailor how much you use compared to your skin type so keep keep on watching so now um, I've got the Boots Salt and Protect and Moisture. Now this is SPF 30, which is not as great as SPF 50, obviously. It is non-greasy, so they say, and it's water resistant. Don't think this is as greasy as some SPFs I've tried. But the reason why I picked this, it's only a cheap one. I think it might be the cheapest I've got here. I don't know it's certainly not the most expensive anyway now the reason why i picked this is because it's got a uva rating of five stars now in europe the sunscreens actually end up having star rating for uva like i said they're aging so the ones that are going to penetrate deeper into your skin and um, cause long-term damage but this has got five star rating um so you know that it's going to cover the aging quite a lot and this is the only one here that has got a five star rating i've got a couple of them that don't have any ratings at all so obviously if i haven't got a rating for it i don't know actually how effective they are at um you know combating uva rays now i'll just show you what it looks like so i've just put it on there it just rubs in really easily really nicely but like i said it is going to leave your skin a little bit shiny well especially if you've got combination to oily skin but yes not bad not bad it does um have a little bit of a strong fragrance i think it's the most fragrant um sunscreen i've got here but i think this is a pretty decent one again don't get it if you've got oily skin because I, I don't really don't think especially as it's got spf 30 you're gonna put a lot on and i don't think you would want to use that now the next two i'm going to talk about are actually going to be all right for the majority of people i do think in my opinion anyway the next one i'm going to talk about is this nivea sun soothing sensitive spf 50 fragrance free um it says non-greasy i definitely agree it's non-greasy um it's not really a mattifying feel as well so this one i really do like i wouldn't mind using this for myself um so i think it's going to be suitable for the majority of people it is a chemical sunscreen so if that bothers you you wouldn't want to get this product but i will show you what it looks like just so you get an idea i'll put this over here so you can 
looks in nicely absolutely nice I really like that a lot to be honest so definitely uh, I do recommend that now the next one I'm going to talk about is a slightly uh, drier feel on the skin but again suitable for the majority of people um, not mattifying not greasy and this is the Cetaphil Daily Defense Moisturizer. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have actually seen any reviews on this product, but I know a lot of people say, oh, that's a terrible one for darker complexions and stuff. It's a combination sunscreen and it does leave a little bit of a white cast, but I personally have also found with this one as well, the same as the Garnier one, I found that if you rub for a little bit it is just going to disappear at least on my skin so if you're my complexion you may want to think twice if you're a darker complexion to me you may want to avoid this one but um i think if you're lighter than me you should be fine with it seriously i i don't know why people are saying it's that bad i personally don't think it's that bad but it's fragrance free it's spf 50 and it's got no denatured alcohol as well which all the ones i've already shown you do have denatured alcohol but let's have a look and this is a moisturizer as well now i will show you on this side so you're gonna see the white that it's gonna leave So I definitely do think you do have to work it quite a bit. It's not just going to disappear completely straight away. But um, I know it might not be ideal. But seriously, on my skin, I think it's fine. Personally, I don't know if it was a choice of a little bit of a white cast, which I don't see with this anyway when I rub it in properly, or greasiness. I definitely know which one I'd be picking because I am not having any greasiness on my face now let's get into the next two which are actually the best for my skin type and are definitely the ones I will be reaching for more in summertime just because it leaves that mattifying feel on my face and these two I've actually used um, today on both sides of my face just to get a little bit of a feel so let's get into the first one I've got this Nivea Sun UV Face Shine Control Mattifying Effect. It says, absolutely perfect for anyone who's got oily skin. Absolutely perfect for anyone who is going to sweat in the summertime. It does really leave your skin mattifying, but like really moisturised as well. It does say for normal to combination skin on it. Um, light, non-greasy. SPF 50, it does have a little bit of fragrance uh, at the end of the ingredient list, so nothing too excessive. Um, doesn't sting around the eye. Really, I don't know, how can you complain? If you've got oily skin, how can you complain? It does have a little bit of fragrance, which the Soothing Sensitive doesn't, but I personally think if you haven't got any issues with fragrance, and your skin is a little bit oily or it's really hot weather this one's probably a better option so like i said i've used this today on half of my face and i've literally used no primer at all perfectly fine so really good base for your makeup and also as well i think if you've got a moisturizer you want to use a moisturizer and you want to use this it's going to be perfectly fine so definitely I love that a lot. Now let me show you what this one looks like before we get into the final one. Uh, where shall I put it? I'll put it here. So that just goes in really nicely and it just leaves your skin very nice and very matte and lovely. It smells quite nice as well. I like the smell. It's nothing too overpowering. No, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Now, finally, let's get into my last product, which is the lowest SPF. So, mm, 
not brilliant but it is a nice moisturizer slash sunscreen anyway it's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost City Shield hydrating lotion with SPF 25 now this one does have fragrance it also has dye so it's blue in color this is what the actual packaging looks like and I think this is the most mattifying so I've got this on one side of my face today as well didn't use a primer went straight in with it in broad spectrum once again and it does have hyaluronic acid and antioxidants as well so I really like this one I will show you what it looks like feels nice on the skin got a nice fragrance as well so I really do really like this one as well now I'm just going to let you know what my actual favorites are um, I can't really talk that much about the ones that are for dry skin because I don't have dry skin I really can't tell you how it's gonna feel on your skin or anything but um, my favourite is this one, just because it's got the SPF 50, so absolutely fantastic, and it's mattifying. I don't know, I wouldn't mind using any of these four, so the two Niveas, the Neutrogena and the Cetaphil, but um, if you're darker than me, don't bother with this, it takes a lot of work in, even for my skin, but I'll still use these, I like how it feels. Um, if you've got oily skin, look at these three. If you've got more dry skin, look at these three, especially these two. And that's basically everything. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see further content, subscribe my lovelies. I would love to have you. And in the meantime, my gorgeous -ies, Keep looking after your skin.